So we're gonna work on a project here to make this watch for uh, my boy Brian. So now I'm just gonna pick a nice piece of metal. So now I'm out in the rain, but I'm just gonna do a quick uh, sand down to get this thing ready for the next step. Sanded. So now I have a printout that's gonna go on the metal. You'll notice it's reversed. Um, when you put it on the metal, it will go right side. So all you do is drop it in the water. So it was in the water 20 seconds or so. Pop it on here. Film comes right off. And then I'll just squeegee it. Now it's been squeegeed. Lamination machine. I'll do that like two, three more times then into the oven. Okay, into the oven. Alongside some other thing I'm working on for Okay, pull this out of the oven. Let's see what we got. Okay, perfecto. So I'll do that like three more times. Okay, that's four layers. So we're ready for the next step. So this is where it starts to get interesting. We're gonna be doing some electro etching. So basically I have this thing, the etchomatic which all it does is put power through uh, this thing. And uh, you connect up with basically a negative, put this in salt water, and then put it on here and it starts burning. So if you listen closely in between my dog breathing heavy, you'll hear burning. So still burning away. You notice a lot of dark color that's literally metal coming off. So now we're really cooking. You can see it bubbling. Okay, so we're at the moment of truth where we figure out if this worked. This is kind of one of the riskiest parts where there's a good chance I throw this away if this didn't work. So what we're going to do is get a little old nail polish. And you're going to find out one way or another if this is worth a shit. And all we're going to do is rub off slowly. Maybe I'll put the camera down while I do this. Oh, um, a crucial moment is I gotta go drill the holes, literally the holes for the, uh, the movement in the hands. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully I don't screw that up. Somehow got that center hole okay, now I'm just gonna make it bigger. I have a movement that's just like a test movement. This is dirty and I don't use it. It's just to fit things. So what I'm going to do is just see if these holes line up and they just got to eyeball it. They do. You might see the pin right there sticking up on the left hole, the second hand. All good. Now I just got to clean it up. Okay, so here's the current status. Um, there might be a few shining here and there that has to occur, but overall we're done with kind of phase one. The next phase is basically coloring everything in. Um, you'll notice if you look at the sides, it's easier to see. It's a just ever so slightly elevated, which once we put the coloring on, 
really kind of brings it out just a little bit. So okay, phase one done.